My name is Kirby Atwater. I'm located in the Chicago area and one of the product marketing engineers for the MEMS and sensors technologies in North America. Uh, what I'm going to talk about a little bit is some important points uh, for about ST's MEMS sensors as it applies to wearable technologies. So when you consider the IoT wearable space, ST is very well positioned to support the a wide range of uh, wearable technologies. We have an extensive portfolio as well as our Bluetooth, low energy and sub gigahertz wireless technologies together can offer a complete solution for sensing uh, and communication portions of the wireless IoT uh, applications and wearable applications. Our MEMS motion sensors are capable of sensing simple motions uh, like a wake from sleep scenario, <clears throat> but also capable of sensing um, and making decisions based on multiple uh, and complex movements or a series of movements and gestures. Uh, our environmental sensors are available to sense temperature, uh, pressure uh, for maybe elevation sensing, and then also relative humidity. And all these cap uh, capabilities are exceptional foundation for the development of some of the newer tracking bands that have been requested by some governments uh, to help with contact tracing for COVID-19. Having a Bluetooth low energy radio and a very low power accelerometer create a very efficient solution able to be powered by like a coin cell or other small uh, power source. To evaluate uh, and develop with our sensors and wireless components, ST has developed a few different hardware tools and accompanying software tools to aid in the evaluation, both light and full featured development processes that may be required by your engineering team. So first, uh, we're going to take a look at the sensortile.box as a great example. The sensortile.box is shown here is the little blue box with many different sensors, both motion and environmental based, as well as Bluetooth low energy communication that works with our Android or iOS implementation of the STBLE sensor app for your smartphone or tablet. Both are available on the uh, respective app stores on Google Play if you search for STBLE sensor um, on either one of the app stores. Let's take a further look at the uh, sensor box and some of its internal components. So here we see the top of the PC board on the left. The sensor box is powered by an STM32L4 microcontroller uh, includes a grouping of environmental sensors uh, as well as a Bluetooth Low Energy 5 module uh, for communicating uh, to the STBLE sensor app on your smartphone or tablet. And then also a grouping of motion sensors in the upper left hand corner. Finally, a micro USB port for direct connection uh, for additional communications and also for advanced development capabilities that we'll talk about in a little bit. On the right side, you see the uh, reverse side of the PC board, the 500 milliamp lithium polymer battery. Under that battery, there's a micro SD flash card slot uh, with capabilities of supporting up to eight gigabytes of uh, SD flash, which you can then use to store sample data for later processing and ac uh, after acquisition. Finally, there's an ST, v, uh, ST Link V3 for direct debug connection to the STM32L4. So let's take a, let's take a little further look at the uh, sensors on the board. If we take a look at the motion sensors first, we have the LSM6 DSOX. It's a six axis accelerometer and gyro combo, what we refer to as an IMU or inertial, inertial measurement unit. This particular device has built in finite state machine and machine learning core capabilities. Um, a little later on, an in depth discussion will, on this functionality will be presented uh, by one of my colleagues. Additionally, there's two different three axis accelerometers the LIS3DH ultra low noise 2.5 G precision inclinometer and the LIS 2DW uh, 12 ultra low power accelerometer. And finally, we have a three axis magnetometer, the LIS 2 MDL. For the environmental sensors in the middle, we have the LPS 22 HH, uh, our absolute atmospheric pressure sensor, the STTS 751 digital temperature sensor uh, and the HTS 221 relative humidity sensor along with the MP23 ABS-1 analog bottom port microphone, which has the capability of sensing into the ultrasonic frequencies to aid in predictive maintenance type applications. I mentioned it's powered by the STM32L4R9 variant, one of our most powerful devices. <clears throat> and we also have the Blue Energy M2SX family of BLE5 uh, modules. Rounding out the hardware is the STBCO2 battery management IC for the, uh, the lithium ion battery that you saw.
Just to highlight the Bluetooth uh, modules a little bit, there are two really two options, the ultra low power or low cost mod, uh, variations based on, both of them are based on the Bluetooth uh, 5IC, the Blue Energy 2, uh, running a Cortex M0 at 24, 256K of flash and 24K of RAM. Um, both of these are Bluetooth 6 certified and uh, have all the regulatory certifications uh, for quick time to market for uh, mass market customers. Both come with an extensive peripheral set, uh, the I2C, SPI, UART, DMA, uh, PDM inputs for our digital microphones, uh, just to name a few. What differentiates the two? The M2SA comes with a high efficiency chip antenna and is power consumption optimized with an internal switch mode power supply. While the M2SP is a cost optimized PC board with PC board trace antenna and an internal LDO oscillator instead. When you use the STBLE sensor app uh, for either Android or iOS, this allows the engineer to utilize the sensor box with various levels of, devel of development. Uh, and in the case of entry mode that we're looking at here, the customer can utilize pre-programmed applications that are stored in the app itself that can be downloaded and run on the sensor box. And with the data then communicated back to the smartphone or tablet via the BLE connection. Some examples include the pedometer function, simple vibration monitoring, uh, leveling and inclination, uh, human activity recognition, just to name a few there. The next level above that is the what we call the expert working mode. This is a mode that allows the user to define the applications by selecting the desired sensors and creating functions directly from the mobile app. The expert mode allows the user to adjust the parameters of each of the sensors. Uh, for example, maybe the full scale, the output data rate, uh, and, and various filtering. Uh, the customer can build this application uh, in the working mode without writing a single line of code. That's a, a nice feature with this. And finally, we have what we call the pro working mode. This mode is fully compatible with our STM32 ODE environment, targeting professional level of development. In this case, the user is able to write custom firmware based on the STM32 cube hardware abstraction layers, middleware, uh, and some of the various examples included. Many of the examples are available in source code level uh, to provide a great reference when starting a new design. Next, we'll take a look at the Algo Builder uh, application that you can run on your PC. Algo Builder is a PC-based graphical user interface and development environment, especially designed for the ease of evaluation uh, and develop of software that you're gonna embed into the microcontroller that will either manage one or multiple sensors uh, depending on what your desired application is. The tool allows the customer to create a, like a block diagram or a flow chart uh, of the signal coming from a particular sensors, uh, you know, it, from the inputs, the processing path that uh, uh, may consist of filters or, or embedded libraries uh, and other functions, and then the output signals as, as they may be desired. This again, done completely without the engineering having to write any code of their own. The tool is fully compatible with our STM32 IDE and visualization tools uh, for viewing the performance of the algorithm that's generated. So this, this shows a graphical of how, kind of how it all in, integrates together. <clears throat> the Algo Builder works very well with the SensorTile.box and it's one of the best tools to fully utilize the SensorTile.box capabilities. The tool allows the customer to take pre-compiled code, uh, libraries, uh, this firmware template, uh, and the code designed in the Algo Builder itself, combine them into a firmware project uh, that you can use with either the STM32 Cube IDE compiler. Uh, I'll mention it's a no-cost uh, compiler tool set for the customer. Or if the customer has IAR or Kyle, uh, they have a seat of one of those, they can use that also. And since the compiler, the debugger, uh, and the programming tools are all linked into Algo Builder. There's no need for the outside, the customer to go outside of the development environment to develop, compile, uh, and test the algorithms. Once the center tile dot box has been programmed, <coughs> the 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 Unico uh, GUI interface can be called from the Algo Builder um, to visualize the uh, application as as desired. The Algo Builder, the STM32 Cube IDE, center tile dot box. Along with the capabilities of the STBLE sensor uh, tool for your smartphone, 
make for a very versatile development tool chain for ST's many different sensors.